Okay. So now you're off to Shella and random encounters. Where's the bandit? Hello there. My papa promised I heard his legs, so I'm stranded here. Could you possibly spare a little loaf of bannock? I need to soak it in medicine and flour. If you can't, a bag of flour would work well too. Mm, I don't have any of those. Alright, that should be enough time for him. You're a mighty fine actor, Kupo. Oh, it's Artemisian. Mm, so cute. Alright, let's rendezvous with Gramps. Hey, you old geezer, how'd it go? Got some booty, Kupo? Mm. Kupo? Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, right, right. There's no need to shout out here. Just fine. Why you two distract the sub girl? Sneak up and make off with the loot. Yeah, that's right. So where's the loot? Huh? Don't play dumb. You're trying to keep it all for yourself. Uh, uh oh. What's wrong? Uh, how long was I asleep? I knew it. Mmm, ran into those bandits. Oh well, off to show them. Yes, please. I actually have two of them. Okay, so we can actually talk to some people and we can buy shallow marks if we need it for other stuff. Uh, they mention Amity, which is a you, you can bump into, and of course there's a whole bunch of different crafts and accessories you can get, but I'm not going to buy any of them because um, we can find them later in dungeons. Uh, and then I'll tour Mooga House. Hello. Please do stamp me. Ooh, I got a matching one. That means it's going to tell me all about the... A mini game that I can't play. I'm only here for the collections. Thank you, though. Thank you, though. All right. Then we are off to where our hidden item is. We can also talk to people and, you know, and. They talk about interesting stuff about how, like, how, like, a meteor crashed here, um, and that's why we have miasma, and then where's our, where's that hidden item? There's always a hidden item in every town, so... Maybe it's up here. I think so. The views here are quite lovely. That reminds me to sell my seeds. Magic requires decades of study. And of course, there's a selkie that we can go talk to. Um, over here. We can also get our stuff made, like uh, accessories and stuff like that. Wait, you've never seen a selfie study magic before? There isn't much to my research. Many people have thought about doing it, but so far nobody has been able to accomplish what I have. What do you think? I think you're doing great. You don't know anything about my research. Everyone wants to see the world outside. Travel freely without fear, right? If I succeed, we'll be able to live our lives without depending on crystals. We wouldn't need to send our crystal caravans anymore, right? Maybe. Good work. Yeah, that's how we start in that quest. Of course, we can also talk to the kids, and they're like, Oh my goodness, have you ever talked to Danan? He's great. He's trying to do cool stuff. But yeah, we're just going to sell a whole bunch of stuff that we don't need. Um, which is pretty much 
on my seeds. I was like sending a flower seed. Flower seeds are cute to send to the family. Um, and then I guess I don't really need all my food. So I usually do this thing where, because you find so much food from monsters and stuff like that, I do this thing where I basically keep three of each. Pretty much. Yeah. Yep, black knights. Attacking people wildly for some reason. Anyways, and onwards we go and begin your diary entry. And then we just continue onwards to more questing.
Okay, and the reason why I saved this one for last always is because it's just really cool when, although cinematically you don't actually exit the room or anything, I think it's really cool that you come out of the center room cinematic wise. I'm all about, you know, the cool, perfect moments. Ooh, I forgot. I can put on that. Oh, actually, realized. No. Um, I can put fire here. Oh, that was how you made slow. That is actually really cool. Um, but now we can have gravity for these fucking officers. Don't freeze me when I'm trying to cast gravity on you. Sharks. Okay, sadly, it does not last that long. Hoorah. I think that's everything we can get in here. So now we are off to the boss fight. Now I think I am actually going to fuse Blazara. Although it is kind of cool to know that we could make slow. I wonder if slow would work. On the bob. Hmm. That's actually cool. I know that there's a way to make haste. I just can't remember. It's like cure and two lice or something like that. The minute I figured out how to do that, I was like, bam, and I just kept spamming haste and carrying the chalice and like leaving my moogle behind. It was hilarious. Anyways, onwards to the boss fight. Don't mind me as I do narration. Hey, where is everyone? I'm hungry. I'm starving. My wife's gonna get pissed at me. What the hell happened? She did this. Um, hey, I was just looking for a Murtry. Will you ruin my dinner? My wife is now gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna kick yours. Oof. Okay then. Well, I'm gonna see if slow works on you after you stop frost breathing. Maybe the only slow auto works on him. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh well. Wow. But good to know for for the future. Um. Let's just switch to Blizzara. Much better. Although it doesn't matter because the minute we put one little hand on Jack, I sensed a disturbance in the force. Someone hit my husband. Only I'm allowed to hit him. And then she comes by and starts being really annoying and casting the slow and haste and basically cures him and stuff like that. So what I want to do is I want to get them over here. What just happened? Oh, I thought she was like already running into the corner. I was like, hey, I didn't even hit you yet. Um, because basically she doesn't have a health bar, but you just have to keep whacking at her until she goes away. And then she goes and sobs in the corner. Because I have a phoenix down, I'm like, nah, I don't care about phoenix at the moment. She also puts slow on you. It's really annoying. That's why I normally just keep whacking at her, and if I get hurt and I have to use Phoenix now, I don't really care. But anyways, now that she's gone, I'm really hoping that was Blizzard. This saga, baby, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Fuck yeah. Stop hitting me. Stop. 
so rude. Okay, I probably should care more about not getting hit, because sometimes that points thing that they show at the end, which I know doesn't really matter or whatever. Sometimes it's like avoid damage and I always like to see how much my points go up because I would like to see how much I avoid damage. I don't think it's a long enough though. I never really avoid damage. I'm like nah, bring it at me. Smack you in the toe. It's a big Gygus monster. Gygus! Thunder Strike. Oh, I thought maybe Thunder Strike would cause him to cause him to get paralyzed. Guess not. Well, just a few more hits. Using the time to just cast Lazara, because why not? Peace out. This is one of the monsters that actually doesn't die. He just like leaves. Fine, I'm just gonna leave. Am I dying? Sorry, not sorry. And we are on to Year Mail Moogle at your service, Koopa. Here you go, Koopa. It's from Denam. I'll check it out. Maybe some clues in Kanal Karak. I should go out and uh, go check it out. Good luck. I always send him something for healing. So we'll get him a cherry cluster. Because he's a selkie and he likes fruity things. All done. Got your reply, Koopo. Boy damage, ha. Huh? <laughs> 72. And our treasure is going to be, let's see. Hmm, getting another command slot would be good, but I kind of want to get some of my defense up a little bit. But yes, now we are on to reading our journal. Diary from year two. My first visit to Alphateria. Huge buildings crowded together, lots of strange people hurrying about. To me they all look the same. They all wear the same hunted expression, as though something was chasing them down.
They say that the Murtree spread in Tida after the village fell in ruin. The tree grew from the hopes of people waiting for the caravan to return home. But at the same time, those hopes also gave rise to Armstrong. Now I understand why caravans try to avoid this place. Came upon the caravan from Mars Pass. It was overturned. A few monsters prowled the road, and I've rarely seen such things in all my travels. The sight was so bizarre that I merely stared at an amazement before it occurred to me to lend a hand. Thankfully, no one was badly hurt. They said they were attacked by the infamous Black Knight. Why would he do such a thing? Now, as we do every year after we rejuvenate the crystal, we dance. After eating, I was preparing to set off when suddenly some little teas ran by in the hot pursuit of a monster. They are probably from Mars Pass. That village has long been home to blacksmiths, so they probably were ga out gathering materials. Early this morning I passed the caravan from Alvateria. They proudly marked right past me. I must admit, they were an impressive sight. Theolus Sluice is a monument to peace. The Murtree sprouted here as if to celebrate the coming of such times. It is unfortunate, however, that the tree grew near the golem who was left here to protect the sluice from monsters. I suppose it goes to show that nothing can be gained without toil. It's amazing to meet a traveler who does not belong to any caravan. He was stranded since his papo Pomus was injured. I lent him some ointment from back home. In return, he showed me his compact crystal, something I had only heard of. Imagine a portable crystal. But carrying something like that around is just asking from a visit of... from a band of... No, could he have been... the Striped Bandits? Shella, Citadel of the Ukes. There's a slight chill in the air, and I find it hard to believe that Mana and Shella are part of the same world. They say that Ukes dress in strange ways to maximize their magical abilities. Someone once told me they have no bodies, only souls. Ukes are a mysterious people indeed. They certainly are. Today I paid a visit to Moss Chet Manor. I felt small in the mushroom forest, but here I'm like an ant. I met the Gygus master and his Lamia wife, together with their Tomberry chefs. I almost felt sorry for the chaos I brought into their home. Perhaps I should have not. So ends the second year of my caravan. My asthma hindered my steps and monsters struck at me from behind. So I'm always looking back fondly on the warm smiles that greeted me in villages I visited, and it was always a joy to meet other caravans on the long, lonely road. I hope to see them again next year.